Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have the world famous Frightening. This was built in, in collaboration with Paul Walker's brother for the commemoration of the Fast and Furious franchise. And it was featured on the Hoonigan channel. This was their shop truck. And now we have it here today. We had to service it in regards to the clutch. We did uh, just a nut and bolt through it, all fluids and filters, along with some minor odds and ends. It runs amazing. It's powered by 2JZ. So I can show you that. It's rolling on a set of T37s, big brakes, Haltec tuned, the whole nine yards. So if you want to see this thing thrashing, literally racing trucks, doing donuts, look up the Hoonigan page and you'll be able to see that or we could show some of the clips right now. Overall condition, I'd rate this a 6 out of 10 for fit and finish, but for cool factor, it's a 10 out of 10. This is an iconic truck because I have a huge passion for Ford Lightnings, and so does the whole team here at Bullet Motorsports. And when we saw this come across for sale, we had to get it. Uh, it's definitely like a movie car, so you're going to have your quirks throughout, small imperfections, but you can drive it. It's fast as heck, makes about 600 horsepower from what I remember. Uh, you have upgraded bare successes on front and rear. Brand new Neato 555Rs in the rear, which we're going to test out today. Uh, you do have the correct tail lights, the whole body kit from a Ford Lightning, and it's extremely low. So you do have to know how to drive it when you are going down the highway because the frame is, I would say, an inch from the ground. Passenger side's very clean. Paintwork is even throughout, but it's not a professional paint job by any means. Interior is very clean, so you have your Tremec transmission, Sparco steering wheel, Sparco seats, and then a really nice stereo. And uh, thanks to the Hoonigan guys, we have the coolest groovy CD in there. It's like we're in Motown driving around in this thing, and it's totally the polar opposite of what you'd think if you're driving this truck. Today we're going to jump in it, take it for a test drive, let you decide if this is what you want to put in your collection. We've had a lot of fun with it, and now it's time for a new owner to claim its ownership. So click on the link below for underside shots, full detailed gallery, and the link for where this thing's going to be sold. Let's do it. We're inside the cabin right now. Uh, you can see all of your autometer gauges, Sparco steering wheel, Soundstream stereo, nice little MTX sub right here, custom shifter, custom handbrake. Uh, this is your emergency brake, by the way. So you remove that, you have your line lock here. Starts up easily. Um, shift pattern is normal for a Tremec. Reverse is all the way up. It's a six speed. Nice and smooth idle. Cup holders, glove box with nothing in it. And the stereo. if you guys want that CD back, but we can send it to you if you want. I'm in a CD giving away mood. So you can see it's smooth. It does have a front mount intercooler. We're just going to bring it up and down the road and then get you guys some beautiful shots so you can decide if this is what you want to put in your collection. Thanks again. If you have any questions, 954-363-2261. You'll definitely not find another one like this. Transmission feels good. Brakes are nice. Take corners easily. So comparable to a regular Ford Lightning, which would have a 5.4 liter with a supercharger, this is actually much peppier. Um, I've, it's also the power delivery, so this is revving to almost 7,000 RPMs with no issues. up 
there, we'll bring it back. Hopefully you guys can decide on if this is what you want to put in your driveway. test it out we'll see if we can get traction in first which I, <laughs> I if we roll into it without hitting boost instantly I don't think that'll be a problem it's so so weird to be in this car with that sound Have a great day.